Perhaps Boeing and Airbus should be nervous, and maybe Russia will come to regret for this. The C929, formerly known as the CR929, once a joint aircraft development project between Russia and China, has just reached a remarkable milestone, signaling the dawn of a new era in global aviation. With this breakthrough, China is ready to reshape the global landscape and directly challenge giants like Boeing and Airbus. But how powerful is the C929, really? How will Airbus and Boeing respond? Let's find out. For decades, the Chinese people have always had a big dream. To conquer the skies with a truly made-in-China commercial aircraft. This dream took root as early as the 1960s, a journey marked by slow progress and relentless obstacles. Developing a large commercial airliner is often seen as the pinnacle of modern engineering, demanding mastery in aerodynamic design, advanced materials, aviation engines, and the ability to meet the world's most stringent safety standards. And yet, the more daunting the challenge, the stronger China's resolve became. The first turning point came in 2008 with the establishment of COMAC, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, charged with a single mission to create airliners that could rival those from Airbus and Boeing. Its first major project, the C919, was envisioned as a narrow-body jet for regional routes. Then, on May 28, 2023, the C919 made the world admire by its first commercial flight, an extraordinary milestone, not just in technology, but as a symbol of national pride and the culmination of decades of unyielding ambition. But here's the twist. That was only the beginning. As impressive as the C919 is, it is not the end game of China's ambition. With a maximum capacity of 192 passengers, and a range of roughly 5,555 kilometers, it's best suited for short and medium haul flights. However, it simply couldn't compete in the arena of long haul intercontinental routes, the global aviation industry's most elite battleground. And that's where the C929 enters the game. No longer a side project, no longer dependent. The C929 is China's bold declaration that it's ready to take flight on the world stage, designed to carry between 280 and 400 passengers across distances of up to 12,000 kilometers. This wide-body aircraft isn't just a technical marvel. It's a symbol of vision, resilience, and strategic intent. On February 20th, 24, this Chinese-built jet made its official debut at the Singapore Air Show, marking a daring leap forward in COMAC's global aviation ambitions. But there is one thing that makes this story even more compelling. The aircraft was originally a joint project with Russia, known as the CR-929. But when geopolitical tensions flared and national priorities diverged, Russia withdrew in 2023. As a result, China took full control of the program, rebranded it as the C929, and accelerated development. With this bold move, they state to the world, this journey is far from over. However, obstacles quickly emerged. Boeing and Airbus had already dominated the wide-body market with their giants, the A350, 777, and 787. Is there room for the COMAX C929? China remains confident that it will conquer the market with the C929 superior capabilities. Still with us? Great! Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the notices about our latest videos. One of its most remarkable features lies in its revolutionary design and cutting-edge materials. Facing some of the harshest conditions in aerospace, high pressure, Extreme temperatures and corrosive environments, the C929 doesn't just survive, it excels. Over 50% of its airframe is made from advanced carbon fiber composites and 15% from titanium alloys, two of the most sophisticated materials in today's aerospace engineering. But this isn't just about structure, it's about strategy. Every kilogram saved translates into lower fuel burn, reduced operating costs, and a smaller environmental footprint. The C929, lighter and stronger than many of its rivals, isn't just built to compete with giants like the Airbus A350 or Boeing 787, it's built to challenge their dominance. And behind it all stands a rising technological powerhouse, China, making a bold statement on the global stage. The ambition continues stronger when stepping inside. Its spacious cabin features a 333-seat economy configuration, meticulously designed for 
maximum passenger comfort on long-haul journeys. With its high-capacity layout and intercontinental range, it isn't merely flying between cities, it's building bridges across continents, connecting Asia with Europe, North America, and beyond. It's a new kind of gateway to the world. However, a truly made-in-China aircraft can't rely on Western components. The C919, for instance, used mostly Western parts. Even its engine, the CFM Leap 1C, was imported. So how will the C929 overcome this challenge? China had an answer. Its own engine program, the CJ2000. This engine was officially unveiled at the AECC Aviation Development Exhibition during the Shanghai International Commercial Aerospace Industry Expo, which opened on November 24th, 2023. As of May 2023, it had entered the technical testing phase with the first test flight expected by the end of 2024. And here's why the CJ2000 is turning heads. Its turbine inlet temperature can reach a scorching 2200 Kelvin, roughly 225 degrees hotter than Rolls-Royce's Trent XWB-97, with a thrust range of 78,000 to 84,000 pounds. This Chinese engine outperforms several Western wide-body aircraft engines, including the 84,000-pound Trent XWB-84 and the Trent 1000, which ranges from 76,000 to 81,000 pounds. This leap in technology marks a critical milestone for China's aviation ambitions. With the CJ-2000's remarkable capabilities, it may not be long before China emerges as a major force in the global engine manufacturing market. Theoretically, the CJ-2000 engine has the potential to transform the C929 into a serious contender in the long-haul aircraft segment. However, a significant challenge remains. The engine is not yet ready for commercial use. Developing a large turbofan engine from the ground up is one of the most complex undertakings in aerospace engineering. While established manufacturers like Rolls-Royce and General Electric have spent decades refining their technologies through continuous iteration and real-world experience, China is still in the process of bridging that gap. At present, the engine remains in the testing phase with AECC the entity leading its development, targeting operational readiness by 2030. But even reaching that milestone does not guarantee immediate commercial deployment. The engine must first meet rigorous international standards for reliability, fuel efficiency, and operational safety through extensive validation. Beyond its technical ambitions, the CJ-2000 represents a strategic significance for China. If successful, it would mark a major step toward reducing the country's dependence on Western aerospace suppliers, an increasingly urgent objective in light of evolving geopolitical tensions and trade restrictions. This achievement could enable China not only to equip its domestically produced aircraft with indigenous engines, but also to establish a stronger foothold in the global aerospace market paving the way for broader international influence. But that ambition is not easy to achieve. The C919 was a significant step forward, but competing in the wide-body aircraft market against giants like Boeing and Airbus is an entirely different challenge. However, there is always a solution for each problem. Behind the scenes, Hong Kong is becoming the silent engine of this aviation revolution. Known for its thriving economy and deep-rooted tech capabilities, the city is now becoming a hub for aerospace innovation. Billions of yuan are being invested in advanced composite material plants, cutting-edge aerospace R&D centers, and state-of-the-art fuselage assembly lines, all designed for one aircraft, the C929, more than 6.56 billion yuan, over $918 million, has been poured into these facilities, a monumental investment underscoring China's unshakable resolve to bring their wide-body aircraft to the market. These are strategic footholds in a long-term vision to develop homegrown aviation technologies that meet and even exceed global standards. From materials to manufacturing, infrastructure to innovation, the C929s being crafted as a symbol of ambition. But the ambition is not easy to achieve. The C929 was a significant step forward, but competing in the wide-body aircraft market against giants like Boeing and Airbus is an entirely different challenge. So, 
can this aircraft reshape the future of global aviation? Keep following us to watch our next analysis about C929. Thanks, and see you next time.